Sound is a vibration. When I talk, my vocal cords vibrate. They make the whole air vibrate. And that makes all the objects in the room vibrate, including your ears. And that's why you hear sound. Ah! A microphone measures all those vibrations and converts them into an electrical signal. That electrical signal can be stored, reproduced, amplified, or visualized. For visualizing it, we can use an oscilloscope. The oscilloscope shows you how the microphone is vibrating. An oscilloscope can also allow you to measure other signals. For example, we can measure light with a photosensor and feed that signal into the computer through the audio cable. Point a laser to the photosensor, you can actually see that signal in the oscilloscope. And you can also sonify that signal by sending that signal to the computer speakers. So we're measuring light. If we can transform the sound vibrations into movement of the light, then we can use the photosensor to measure those sound vibrations. But how do we transform the sound vibrations into movement of the light? With a paper cap and a mirror. When the air vibrates, the bottom of the cap vibrates and the mirror moves. Then if you point a laser to the mirror, the reflection of the laser will move. Now let's put everything together. Let's put the photosensor on the laser path. Speak and you can hear the sound coming out of your computer. Ah, 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 ah. Now we made a laser microphone. If you want to know more about the science of waves and music, go to listeningtowaves.com. So this is your photo sensor and you have a cable with two sides. You will connect one side of the cable to one side of the photo sensors and the other side of the cable to the other side of the photo sensor. Like this. On the other side of the cable, we'll connect an audio jack. This audio jack has four rings. That means that one of those rings corresponds to the microphone input. What we'll do is connect one of the sides of the cable to this long pin here, which is the ground. On the other side of the cable, to the pin that corresponds to the microphone.